Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about renal artery stenting and stenosis, and we'll see how they will perform the procedure in cath lab. Okay, let's get started with the introduction. The renal artery angioplasty procedure begins with puncturing the radial artery with puncture needle, and then advancing the sheath with dilator over the wire. After positioning the sheath, removing the dilator with wire and flushing the sheath with heparinized saline. After that, advancing guiding catheter with Deumo J tip wire. After inserting catheter, patients are systemically heparinized, typically with 5000 international units of heparin administered intraarterially. After positioning the catheter, angiogram to be taken to measure the lesion length. And then the guide wire is inserted through the guiding catheter into the renal artery and visualizing the renal artery lesion by injecting contrast. After that, advancing the guide wire across the stenosis or blocked area of the renal artery. Contrast is injected to confirm intraluminal catheter tip position. It is very important and should not be omitted even if the lesion is crossed in an atraumatic fashion. After crossing the lesion, the pre-mounted 5 mm or 6 mm stent is positioned, with 2 to 3 mm protruding into the aorta. After positioning the stent, a small amount of diluted contrast is injected into the guiding catheter, to ensure proper positioning. Then, the balloon is slowly inflated to deploy the stent into the renal artery. After deploying the stent, a final angiogram is obtained through guiding to assess the results and exclude dissection. When results are adequate, catheters and protection devices are removed from the aorta. Now you can see the pre and post stenting images of the renal artery. Thank you for watching this video, have great day.